In this video, I'll show you how to add file port printer or virtual printer to create.prn file. First, go to printers and scanner in your Windows setting. Make sure you've already installed your actual printer driver for your printer model. In my case, my printer model is Epson L1800 and I've already installed its driver. Now, click to add a printer or scanner. Click on the printer that I want isn't listed and select add a local printer or network printer with manual setting and next select use an existing port in drop down list choose file print to file choose the same driver as your actual printer in my case it is Epson L1800 so I select Epson L1800 for its driver too. Name it for easier recognized. I will add PRN file to its last name, so that I know that, whenever I want to generate .prn file to print with Epson L1800, I will choose this virtual printer. And here's our newly created virtual printer for Epson L1800. Now, we need to change some settings for this virtual printer. Click on Manage and click Printing Preferences. In Document Size drop-down, choose User Defined. Add new paper size preset. Name it, my paper, tick, borderless, in paper width, and tick, millimeter, in unit, and click, save. To save our paper size preset, click OK. Now, tick on, borderless, and click, setting, next to it, choose, retain size, and OK. Now, go to maintenance tab, click extended settings. Untick, Enable Epson Status Monitor 3. And tick on, Print as Bitmap. And OK. And OK again. Now, we successfully setting up our virtual printer for Epson L1800 to generate .prn file. Whenever you want to generate .prn file for printing with, in my case Epson L1800, you just need to choose this virtual print driver for the printer, when you print any artworks, images, photos, or documents from any softwares. Visit and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technobby, for more tips and tricks.